Hi, I am Roxana from VP State, and in this video I will show how to manage property categories. There are many aspects to cover, so this video will have two parts. In this video you will learn how to add, edit or delete property categories, how to create categories pages, how to add those pages into menu, how to manage category page header and category page design, and how to manage sidebars for the category pages. I will start by explaining how to add, edit and delete property categories. The team property categories can be found in admin, properties section. They are categories, type, city, neighborhood, county, state, features and amenities and property status. The process for add edit or delete categories will apply the same for each type of category. If you import demo content, you will import the demo categories as well. We added these categories to be able to give a good starting point for clients, but they can be adjusted to fit your business model. I will show an example on how to add, edit and delete property categories. I will show it for this category, but the same will apply for type, city, neighborhood, county, state, featured and amenities and property status. I will show how to add a new category. Here you need to type the category name. Leave the slug blank so WordPress can generate it correctly. And press add new category you can see that the new category was added. This is the category ID and here you will see the number of properties assigned to this category. If you wish to edit the demo categories, you need to press edit, change the name, remove the slug and press update. You can see that the slug was correctly generated and the category was renamed. If you need to delete a category, just press delete button. You will have this warning to make sure that you really want to delete it. Press OK and the category will be removed from the site. Once you finished adding all your property categories, you might want to create property categories pages. They will display all properties that have that category assigned. The process is simple. You just need to click on view button. And this is the property category page. Once you created a category page, to make it more accessible to your users, you can display it in the menu. I will show how to add a category page into the menu. You will need to go to Admin, Appearance, Menus. You will find the category sections in this sidebar. If you do not see them, you will need to enable them by going to Screen Options and tick categories. I will add apartments into the menu. You just need to tick and add to menu. The element will go at the bottom of the list and with drag and drop you will be able to move it in the position that you wish. I will add it in lists here. I will save the menu. On front end I will refresh the page. And here the category page will show. Now I will start explaining the options available for the category page. First you need to decide on the design of the page. You have two options available. One is the standard list which is this one. And second is the half map design. You need to go to Team Options, Appearance. This is the option to set the category page design, Standard or Half Map. I will select Half Map, Save Changes. And now my category page will have 
the list and the map. From the same place in Team Options, you can set the map position to be on left or right. I will select right, save changes, and on refresh the map position will change. By default the map position will be on left side. Also from Team Options you will be able to set the number of listings that will show on category page. This is the number that you need to change. Also you will need to make the same setup in WordPress in settings, reading, here you will need to set 8 as well or add your own number. The half map design will support geolocation search that you can control from team options, search, geolocation search. These fields are the ones that you set for advanced search and you can manage them in Team Options, Search, Advanced Search Form. These are the places where the fields will need to be selected. You need to be aware that the health map design will not support a header section or footer section or any sidebar. All these sections will only apply to standard design. Now I will explain how standard design will show and the options that will apply. From the same section you can manage sidebar. This is the option. You can select the sidebar position and the sidebar that will show. I will change the sidebar position to left. You can see that the sidebar changed. Next I will show how to manage page header. The header for property categories pages can be set from Team Options General Header. In this section, Media Header Type for Taxonomy, you will be able to select a header for all property categories. For example, I will select Image, Upload an Image, Save. I will refresh the page and now all my category pages will have this header assigned. This wraps the first part of this video. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notification on new videos.